with 5k to go well everybody has got a nice clean run to the line that may some suit some but uh, not others and look at the amount of space that they're all giving each other here as katusha head for the nose right now uh, you see the golden jersey of brent bookwalter uh, he will be a uh, a helper today I'll be working for Adam Blythe to add to his success. And over there, left-hand side of your screen, you saw Edvald Bosenhagen. Oh, and this is this a puncture or was it just a, uh, a brief break? It may well be a change after. Uh, that's uh, unfortunate for uh, Saxo Tinkoff and it's Anders Lund who's uh, relaying himself back on. 4K to go. And you can see how, just how much work he's having to do. He's uh, uh, got a little bit of help from a car here. I think it may even be a commissar. I can't quite see them. <laughs> Not deliberately, you understand. And uh, they will get beeped for that on the radio. Uh, back on Soleil, they're doing their turn and uh, Omega Pharma Quickstep saying thank you very much. Uh, we'll take any help that we can get. Sky and Bernard Eisel yet again punching a big hole and it looks like job done as far as Katusha are concerned and uh, uh, Porsef I think it is Alexander Porsef the big Belarusian uh, champion from 2011 going back four to go there it is confirmation of that the graphic just slightly out uh, so four to go at this point as uh, it starts to beckon now I am a punching above their weight in this one and Sky suddenly make a turn of pace here. Ian Stannard in the white jersey in P3 at the moment. Uh, Matt Heyman and Bernie Eisel know how to ride here as well. And look at this, dead centre, plumb up the middle here. Cannondale also trying to join the party as we speak. And so Bondiani, Veloci, no Modelo perhaps, but why not uh, Di Corrado? Yes, he can go quickly when he needs to. So, settle yourselves down. Time for a big fireworks display right now. Uh, Ian Stannard on the right-hand side of you at the road there in the white jersey. It's the uh, British champion's jersey, but he's doing a job at the moment for Bosenhagen in the red Norwegian jersey at the end of that line. Uh, you see Brent Buchwalter. Uh, just behind him is Adam Blythe at the moment. Everyone holding back. The pace, you know, we talked about that, around about 60 kilometres. Well, we're not quite that sort of pace right now, but it starts to pick up yet again, and we've got some movement from dead centre here. Back up the front, I think it's going to fracture, is it? No, not quite. But back on Soleil, wanting to get themselves into the picture right now. Well, uh, they're chugging away here. It's sort yourselves out time, and BMC have gone up front. Sky doing their familiar thing of riding the gutter right now. Ed Valt, he's a, a big, strong man. They will have actually practised in their mind which side of the road they need to be on to actually get round here. Best place is on the right, as they take the big right-hander here, nice and smooth. Well, uh, energy saved is distance gained, and that's exactly what's happened to Sky here, and everyone else is uh, kind of chugging away to get up there. Nicky Terpstra, the uh, Dutch champion, also just bedding himself in nicely. Uh, Bondit Bariani Veloci still want to be part of this, and that's a good effort by them. They get themselves into a safe place and back on Soleil. Also, suddenly join the party. Two to go. If you're going to go for it, it's going to be soon, I've got to tell you. Cannondale suddenly realised that they may well have missed the trade. Uh, they start chugging on the right hand side in the green with the stripe. Two to go there. Confirmation of that. This is at the back, don't forget. And it's a long string out now. The pace has absolutely rocketed, and Orisco Green Edge are in for this. Baden Cook and Alan Davis, uh, what's Krupp has got as well, the Lithuanian, we'll see. Uh, they at the nose right now. Round they come, all the way round this one. It's a straight line of flick flack. First right, then left, and they're running out of time now. Goodness me, it's been compressed good and proper here, and these guys at the back are just spectators. So the pace is up. Who's going to fly first? No wind to speak of whatsoever. Orica Green is doing a fantastic job. It's now recovery time for Katusha, who are trying to get themselves back into this one. And uh, AG2R also, and I am there as well. Oh, elbows all over the place. Big, big uh, push over to the right. Uh, whoever was on the right-hand side, it looks like it was Sky, will probably have gained out of that. Neda Bendura also coming up towards the front, and the leader's jersey is bedded within it. It's a mess at the moment. I can see Mark Cavett has just got a, a, a sign of him, but it looks like his Omega Pharma team are not there with him and Argos Shimano lighted up Dagan Kolb tries to hit out here will that head start nodding we will see uh, we're losing ground quicker and quicker here there's a lot of argy-bargy plenty of elbows and we scan to see where Mark Cavendish is and at the moment I just can't pick him out there wow 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 uh, Orica Green just sort of look at each other here and Argos Shimano 
could be a great result for them if John Dagan Cobb gets himself sorted out. They're still weaving all over the place. Cannondale and Viviani start to pick it up right now. What have you got, fellas? And Mark Cavendish suddenly appears. He's on the back end of uh, Bozenhager. Bozenhager drifts out, trying to find some space. Is there enough time for them to make it here? We're inside the last 200 metres. Bozenhager on the right of your screen. It's Cavendish on the left. Is it going to be between those two? Oh, it's a, the, the line almost upon us. Cavendish hits the front. Nearly there. Oh, and he delivers a big, huge grin that he's got. Bozenhagen on the drift there. And Orica Green Edge just edged out of it towards the end. What a shame for them. Kropis didn't quite get there, but Mark Cavendish most certainly did. It's about timing, and he timed it beautifully. <laughs> Mark Cavendish then uh, trims 10 seconds off <laughs> his overall time. This is a great job. Uh, Mark Cavendish then getting congratulations, and uh, why not? He's always the first, indeed, to offer up his thanks and congratulations to the team. I thought he was lost there, uh, but not a bit of it. He had some great recovery legs. We know all about that. And look at this. Uh, Cavendish there with a lot of work still to do. Um, he followed Bosenhagen and let go of his back wheel at exactly the right moment. Here's the drive for the line. Oh, well, if he mistimed it on the opening sprint of the day, he absolutely nailed it when it mattered at the finish. Ten seconds bonus for him. Good, good work. And crucially, Edvel Bosenhagen finishing about sixth place, I think. We'll get official results for you in just a moment's time. Well, it was the call to prayer just before we went off air, uh, on air, I should say. There we are, Marcus Barry it was uh, for Vacon Soleil that just beat Corpus at the line. So Vacon Soleil and Marcus Barry doing a job here. Nasser Bouani, Francis Dejure, well done to them. Chapeau. Look at who he beat, Hausler and Bosenhagen today.